Good morning. Welcome to the WCCE Morning News Show. My name is Austin. Lily and I will be the new, uh, your news anchors for today, Monday, March 18th, 2024. Did you know that today is National Sloppy Joe Day? Here's Lily with the weather. The current temperature in Lake Wiley, South Carolina is 32 degrees. Today's high is 59 degrees. The low tonight is 29 degrees. The forecast for today is cooler with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute to the flag of South Carolina and pledge to the palmetto state, love, loyalty, and faith. At Crowder's Creek, we pledge to seek smart solutions, be on board learning, act responsibly, and respect others. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you to all who participated in last week's Read Across America Week trivia questions. So our final winners are in the pre-K and second grade classroom. The question was, how many stripes are on the hat of the cat in the hat? The answer was five stripes. The winner was Journey Rose Shea in Miss Richardson's second grade class. The question for third through fifth grade was, if you're looking for a book that is set in outer space, what kind of genre are you looking for? And the correct answer was science fiction. Congratulations to Luke Evans from Miss Lynn's class. Remember to come to the primary library to get your book machine token. Today for lunch, we have French toast sticks or pizza bagel fun lunch. Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I have my friend Ella Klish here with me. Would you like to wave? Ella is in kindergarten in Miss Rosalie and Miss Grantham's class, and she is my special guest on the Soar Sofa today. And she has the sweetest compliment. You know what they said about you? That you are their little ray of sunshine. And you work have worked hard to become the best soaring student that you can be. She has a zest for life and learning that is unmatched. She works hard on all of her work and they love how much she has already grown this school year. And if anyone ever sees Ella in the hallway, you know that she's gonna compliment you or say something so kind to you and just make your day. So I agree with your teachers, Ella. Keep up the great work. Do you have any advice for our friends at Crowder's Creek? Keep being kind and try your best. Awesome, and she's got her eagle ring and her free ice cream coupon and her um, pencil saying that her principal is proud of her. And I can't wait to see who gets to be on the sore sofa next time. Have a great day. Bye. Mr. Thomas, Miss Hamilton, and Miss House and Mr. Palmer would like to wish a happy birthday yesterday to Thomas Parker, Kaysen Smith, Jameson Castro, Ella Klish, Jackson Darfield. Happy birthday today to Andrew Taylor and Ella Meyer. Please see your librarian for your book machine token. I think I'll toss it. Wait, what? Haven't you heard about our coat drive? Hmm? Our school is holding a coat drive, and all proceeds go to a place called Eagle Closet. What's Eagle Closet? Eagle Closet is a student run thrift store that gives back to the community. Hmm, okay, I'll donate my coat then. Thank you. Can I donate my coat? I'm so sorry, but I don't think you can. Why not? See, it has stains on it. We cannot take coats with stains, ribs, or stinky smells. Oh. Uh. Our coat drive will be from March 18th to April 12th. The coat drive bins will be located on the primary side and the elementary side. Let's donate some coats. Bye. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching the WCCE 
morning news show. Keep watching to see Mr. Moser's Meandering Monday. Have a great day. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Mr. Moser's Meandering Monday. I am in Winthrop University in Rock Hill, South Carolina. From the Clover School District office, Winthrop University is about 18 miles southeast of that location. It would take a little under 30 minutes to drive to Winthrop campus. I thought for this Meandering Monday, I'd try something a little bit different. Instead of me wandering around campus, I got Miss Whiteside, third grade teacher who graduated from Winthrop and also used to give tours of the campus. So let's take it away, Miss Whitesides. Hi, it's Miss Whitesides, third grade language arts and social studies teacher and Winthrop alumni. Um, we're standing here at the Winthrop Fountain, which is a very notable place on Winthrop's campus. It has recently been restored to its full glory, and it's a beautiful place to gather on campus. It's actually located in front of Tillman Hall, which is our main building on campus. It holds our offices, and um, it's where the president's office is for the university and lots of things like that. It's one of our oldest buildings on campus. As you can see on the side, it says Winthrop Normal and Industrial College, and now we're known as Winthrop University, so it's pretty old. Um, Tillman is actually a building that you may recognize because there's a matching building on Clemson University's campus. Winthrop University was founded as a women's college, and it focused primarily on teaching and um, domestic sciences, while Clemson was founded as a military and agricultural college for men. So they had a partnership together and these buildings match because of it. It's also their office building over there. Um, if you want some fun facts, the porches actually face each other, the directions they, if you were standing on both front porches and you could see each other, if it was close enough, you would be standing face to face. And one other notable thing is our porches match and then the clock bell towers. Um, Winthrop's is rounded and comes to a point like a cone shape while Clemson's is a square that comes to a, um, a point to make a pyramid. So Winthrop and Clemson have that history and the buildings to tie them together. So Rutledge used to be the library a long time ago but now it is the art building. It holds um, sculpture and shop classes in the lower level where students build sets for different um, theater pieces that, that we have. And then the upper level holds an art gallery and art professor offices. On the back side of campus, there is Johnson Hall, which I'm standing in front of. It is currently under construction, as are many aspects of the campus. Um, we have a new president, Dr. Edward Serna, who is actually a former Winthrop graduate, and he's making lots of improvements along with our board of trustees to the building, so excuse the construction. But Johnson Hall is a theater building with theater classrooms and a full auditorium and stage. There's tons of shows that Winthrop students put on that are just as good as your Broadway and off-Broadway productions. And it also hosts um, shows for the community theater or community dance groups. So this is the West Center, which is our campus gym. It hosts multiple full-size basketball courts. There's a track around the upper inside where there's also exercise equipment that you can use at any time that the building is open when you are a student. There's also free exercise classes that you can attend for fun, as well as any of the classes you would take um, if you were majoring in athletic training or if you were going to be a PE teacher. There's an indoor pool and dance rooms as well.
It's where um, originally all of the students dined together. There was an hour window for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all of the students ate together. There was actually um, also the senior girls would like have their tables. And if you were a freshman and you got invited to go and sit with the senior girls, it was a really big deal. And my grandmother who graduated here in 1946 remembers fondly the ladies who worked in the kitchen pushing a cart that had giant round like cakes of ice cream that were still frozen on it. And the senior girl got to make the selection of what flavor of ice cream they would have. And they were served a slice of ice cream with their lunch and their dinner. For the first time, we're gonna have to make this a two-part video. Come back next week to learn more about Winthrop University with Miss Whitesides and me. Have a great day.